ready? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to uh, Listener Stories April edition. And that's why we drink. That's the podcast. That's our podcast. Sure is. This is our 13th, 14th, 15th mm-hmm. listeners episode. Yep. Somewhere between 13 and 20. Yes. Probably. Yes. Let's crack into it. It's been a wild ride so far. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All right, let's do it. So. So what kind of story do we have? Well. Huh? Let's see, shall we? So. Our first story is from Erica. Hi, Erica. Hi. Hi, Erica. How you doing? Let's let her say hi first. I assume she does. Erica? No, in the email. You there? Erica? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Erica says, hi, Em and Christine. Hi, Erica. See, now we say hi. Oh, hi, hi Erica. Hi, Erica. It's nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. I stumbled across your podcast totally by accident two weeks ago. That's how I got into this podcast. Best tumble you ever took. (laughs) 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 No. No. What does Erica Uh, have to say? Okay. Erica says, hi, Em and Christine. Hi, Erica. Hello. I stumbled across your podcast totally by accident two weeks ago. I've been listening and felt the need to share about my ghost who has a thing for, if you can believe it, Skittles. (laughs) I can believe it. Yes, the taste the rainbow candies. Have you tasted the rainbow? (laughs) Wait, does it say that? It does. Oh, I have. Have you? Yeah, many times. Delicious. (laughs) Good. Glad to hear it. Uh, okay. So Erica says in 2009, I was driving home with a friend when we witnessed a horrific traffic accident. A man ran a stop sign and plowed into a small car. The car flipped on its side and ejected the driver. Oh, that sounds terrifying. She was a tiny woman and she flew right through the window shield. We were literally the first people on the scene before the police or fire department were there. I rushed to, I rushed. Whoop. (laughs) Sorry. I rushed to the woman and found her conscious, but in shock, sprawled out on the ground. She had large chunks of glass stuck in her face, neck, and feet. Oh, my God. That sounds awful. She had lost her shoes in the impact, and they were laying some 100 yards or so away from her body. She kept trying to get up and walk around. Every time she got up, you could hear the squish of blood from her feet and see deep red footprints on the asphalt. I eventually got her to lay down until the paramedics arrived. As I was talking with her, she kept asking me to go into her car and find her bag of Skittles. Oh, sorry. Same, the, honestly. Uh, <laughs> Same. Priorities. I'd be like, oh, this is rough. Where are my Skittles? They make I need the rainbow better. to get me through this. I knew she was in shock because no one in their right mind is worried. <laughs> oh, there we go. Is worried about freaking Skittles after being in such a serious accident. Now I feel judged. That's where you're wrong, Erica. <laughs> Soon after, the paramedics came and took her away. A week later, I was headed to Colorado for a family reunion and booked a flight. I arrived at my hotel and was unpacking my bag when an empty bag of Skittles fell out of a pocket. I don't freaking eat Skittles. I was traveling alone, so there was no way that someone else had put them there. Wait, how long after was this? This was a week later. Are we sure she didn't just take the woman's Skittles? (laughs) Stealing okay, evidence I'm, from the scene of the crime. I'm going to trust her and say she didn't. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. To be determined. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Uh, I was traveling alone, so there was no way that someone else had put them there. That night, I dreamt about the accident. I woke up, and the room was freezing. When I turned on the light, and I lost my shit, because I could clearly hear someone walking through the room. Ugh! Yikes. When the light came on, there on the floor was a set of bloody footprints leading no. from my oh suitcase my to the side of the bed I was sleeping on. Oh. Don't tell me she came for her Skittles. <laughs> I grabbed my phone to take a photo and I, literally I couldn't. Every photo I took showed just a regular room. 
I did the only logical thing thing I could think of after that. I went to the vending machine and bought a bag of Skittles and left them in the corner of the room and yes. then checked out of the hotel. Yes. No, smart I, girl. I approve. Smart girl. That's smart. I still to this day find empty bags of Skittles in mysterious places. At least they're empty. Yeah. Like she got at to least, them. At least. Oh, I was like, wouldn't it be great if you just went everywhere and found full bags of Skittles? <laughs> Not like if you don't like Skittles. Oh, that's true. That's true. I'm, I'm saying yeah. it's good for the ghost because she's yeah, yeah, getting yeah. her Skittles. Uh, see, I didn't realize she had died. Now I feel kind of bad. I mean, was that ever really determined? I guess it wasn't. I just assumed. Well, it does say ghost. <laughs> Well, hopefully it's not. Yeah. I mean, okay. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll live with the mystery. Yeah. Mystery is good. That's what uh, this podcast is all about. No, it's so, not. No, it's not. No. I, I it's about really... us, obviously. Oh, we are the stars. <laughs> I'm not done with the story. Oh, Erica has sorry. something I'm left sorry, to I'm say. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Erica says, I still to this day find empty bags of Skittles in mysterious places. I still dream of the accident, and on one occasion, very late at night, I physically saw the woman I helped walk through my living room holding a bag of candy. Oh, okay. Oh, see, my reaction was, oh, happy ending. What? <laughs> I know, that gives me chills. I guess. I'm just glad she's got her candy. Okay. Well. Also, I hope she didn't die. Me too. I hope she's alive That would and have been the candy. real happy ending. All right. All right. Tell me a story. I have a story from Megan. Megan? The subject is crime story-ish. Well, that sounds right up your alley. Mm, perfect. It says, hi, M, Christine, and Gio. Hi. Oh, well, hello, Megan. Gio says hi, too. Gio says hi. Gio? I know. They didn't introduce me oh, to start. Here's Gio. I Gio. Came, I came from outside. You know, I had to do my business. Good boy. <laughs> Baby G. Baby G. So oh, sweet. Oh, so sweet. At least they haven't called me a babu yet, whatever <laughs> that is. Babu. <laughs> Baby G. Oh, sweet babu. Such a handsome boy. All right. I am Christine and Gio. Hello I, again. I, <laughs> I just started listening to the podcast a week or, or so ago, and I'm just about caught up, which honestly kind of sucks. I'm going to miss binge listening to these. You two are the best. Ooh. No joke. Thank you. Wait, thank you. That's but so nice. I think she meant us two. Yeah. Oh, you know, You're I not. don't need your approval. It's fine, <laughs> Megan. Yeah, Megan doesn't like you. We don't like you either, Megan. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, we the you. next part Come says, back. and I'd love to just say Team Wine all the way. hey So much Team Wine. Woo, Megan. So much confusion. You can be in my clique, Megan. <laughs> There's nothing better than boxed Moscato. I Agreed. Keep, I, I keep meaning to share the story from my childhood, but naturally kept forgetting. So here it is. Do what you'd like with it. I'm going to read it. I'd like to do that. I think that's a good plan. All right. My dad worked at a hospital in Massachusetts back when I was about two years old, around 1993, as the head of maintenance. The hospital also had a daycare on the lowest level. I think most hospital... I think most hospital... I think most hospital... <laughs> Thanks, G. I think most of hospitals do any who's. Did that throw you off? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Which was my stomping grounds as a badass two-year-old. My dad would drive to work every day with me, drop me off downstairs, and then head up to the main part of the hospital to do his thing. Since my dad was the head of maintenance, he had a few employees that worked under him. I guess one of those guys was a bit of a nutter and was let go after his third strike of being a not-so-awesome maintenance guy. I think it's safe to assume that the guy was not too happy about that, because a couple weeks after he was let go, he drove, his, he drove his truck into the front entrance of the hospital and decided it would be a good idea to take out a hunting knife and chase after the first person he saw. Oh, you can't trust people with trucks. <laughs> is, that what, is that the moral That's so far? That's the moral of the story. Have you ever seen a horror movie where someone is driving a minivan? No. That's a good point. The killer's always That's in a, a truck. That's a very good point. No. With a hunting knife. Yep. Just to clarify. Yep. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Do you have any guesses who that was? Who the person chased? Yep, me. This man chased Megan around with a hunting knife. Oh, that happened to me once when I was a child. <laughs> was she two years old? It's horrible. 
I was really, I was never really a napper as a kid, so one of my daycare teachers took me upstairs to get a cookie from the cafe near the entrance. We were just leaving the cafe, with my cookie, of course, when he drove his truck into the hospital. <laughs> my teacher picked up little chubby cookie-loving me and booked it down the hall to get to the elevator and back down to the daycare. Naturally, the guy set his eyes on us and began chasing after us. I'm assuming I was weighing my teacher down a bit since she was a super petite 23-year-old and she was trying to run all while carrying me. He caught up to us in no time, <gasps> shit, stabbed my teacher in the stomach a couple times, and then was about to go for me when my dad's best friend, who also worked at the hospital, got there. He was able to stall the guy and get his attention away from me while we waited for the police to find us. Oh my god. Jesus. My that... mouth is just a gasp. That's, I know it's not the word, but... A gape? But yeah. You're a dog. It's you're okay. a-gasping <laughs> with a gasping mouth with agape? A I'm learning English. <laughs> But the thing is, the weird part is, when you said that she was weighed down by carrying me, all I could think of was when I was in the Redwoods, and my dad had to carry me to the world's tallest tree, and how I weighed him down when that happened. But that's a lot less scary than being chased by a man with a hunting knife. That's true. In a hospital. Blaze still complains about that. At least it's a that. hospital, because there, yeah. you get stabbed. Yeah. There's people there to Your fix it. Your dad works in a hospital, right, Gio? Yeah, but he can't fix people with stab wounds. Oh, he, God. He, he fakes that. I oh. think he can. <laughs> I have faith. Please can do anything. Yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. When the police got there, my dad's friend grabbed me and immediately took me to the daycare where my dad was waiting. The hospital was on lockdown at this time, so my dad was stuck down there until the lockdown was over. I guess when we left this... This upset the man so much that he started going after the police and was ultimately shot down. No, he did not make it through this whole or ordeal. So why does it say crime story-ish when there was a stabbing and a shooting? I mean, that was pretty... This is a very scary story. I mean, story. there was crime. Lots of crime. Lots of it. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. More than one crime, for sure. Since I was only two, all I really remember from this whole thing was being super scared, seeing my teacher's blank face after she was stabbed... Did she make it? Was, was your doing... teacher okay? Uh, after she was stabbed, running down, the, down a hallway and dropping my cookie, which made me really upset. I mean, all this and I don't even get to eat my cookie? Seriously, damn. The police... Sounds like you, something you can relate to. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah. The police and other hospital staff kept pressuring my parents to have me see a shrink, but they refused. To them, a two-year-old seeing a shrink was just a waste of money. I wonder how different my life would be if I had seen a shrink. Maybe that's why I drink. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> this is getting dark. <laughs> Side note, I remember from one of your episodes, you two had said that you enjoyed getting questions in these emails. We do. Well, here Bring are two on. random fun ones. Hopefully you haven't already answered these in a previous episode. We if will so, answer them again. Totally ignore this. No, yeah. What are they? I can guarantee we have not answered these questions. <laughs> Shoot. Number one, what scares you the most? I know for myself, I always get super freaked out with small spaces, clowns, and gorillas. For I, for one, can say that what scares me the most is running out of wine. That makes a lot of sense. I can say it's not clowns for me, because I used to be a clown. And that's about as much as I know about what scares me. Yeah. All right. The mailman. <laughs> that sounds about right. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for the question. Oh, number two. Oh, Gio, this is for you. Well, actually, maybe. Will Gio ever have a little buddy to play with? I mean, of course, apart from you two and everyone else that thinks he's just the most handsome boy ever. Gio? What do you think, Gio? No, I need that whole yard to myself. Okay, there's <laughs> your answer, Megan. What a Oh, jerk. Oh. Geo has spoken. Oh, oh. Single child for life. <laughs> okay, anyways, thanks so much for being you. No problem. Oh, P.S. Jesus, this is in the P.S. Okay. my Yes, my daycare teacher survived. Oh, but, thank God. But, uh-oh, she did leave the hospital daycare and move to a different state after everything. Can Wouldn't you blame you? her? I cannot. Megan, you and I Meg. were on the same page there. That was wild. That was wild. I am so glad to hear that the teacher was okay. Uh, I'm glad to hear that everyone was okay, but um, oh, yeah. except the cookie. That was a bummer. Moment of silence. 
All right. Okay. Next story. Gio has a story for us. Baby G, my oh, handsome Gio. boy. Uh, yes, I now have a voice to finally read a story. The first one, thankfully, is addressed to both myself as handsome baby G, M, and Christine from Candy. In the summer of 2010, Wait. my friends and I. Hi, Candy. Uh, Oh, yeah. Hello, Candy. Well, she just wrote deer. Do you say hi after someone says deer? Deer candy. <laughs> Yum. Skittles. <laughs> candy, do you know anything about the Skittle story? Hungry? You hungry? She spells it differently. She spells it with a K. Oh, that's, that's totally that's different. very rude My mistake. For, my mistake. Know. Sorry, Candy. Mm. Forgive me? Just like when people think my name is spelled G-E-O. That's very offensive. Mm, yes. Like geographic. How dare they? Exactly. Who's named after geography? A lot of people. Like Paris Hilton? Carolina anybody? Carolina Dakota. anybody? Dakota Fanning? <laughs> That's real specific. <laughs> Dakota Fanning? Oh, yeah. I always forget Dakota is the place because there's the north and the south. Yes. Is there a South Dakota Fanning and a North Dakota Fanning? I'm sure there's a Dakota Fanning that lives south of where Dakota Fanning is lives. Is there a city called Fanning in one of the Dakotas? Because that would be weird. I'd put money on it. I would not. I take that bet. There okay. should be a place called Fanny, though, because you know how much we love the word Fanny. And as I know, love it's it. short for butt. <laughs> Good old tush. Yep. Anyway, so Candy's story, so, Gio. Sorry, sorry to Candy. interrupt. Sorry, we, we do say hi. In the summer of 2010, my friends and I became a little obsessed with going to local haunted places because, well, what else is there to do as a teenager in Oklahoma? I'm None of us shrugging. have had that experience. We're not sure. So when we heard there was an abandoned orphanage in town, we jumped right on it. Smart. This sounds like it's shaping up to be a That's sad a story. That's the last abandoned thing I want to explore. An orphanage. Yeah. What abandoned things would you like to explore? Abandoned uh, chocolate factory that was abandoned a day earlier. Ah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't go in there. I can't eat chocolate. That's true. That is a downside. Tragic. You'll have to eat it all for me. <laughs> Here's the thing. We didn't find this out until years later, but this orphanage, in quotes, was actually an abandoned mental hospital. Who called it an orphanage? <laughs> who tricked you into that? Maybe they were just orphans who had mental disease. That's a very specific Which in the location. 60s meant they probably didn't have mental disease. They were just women. Or orphans. <laughs> or orphans. So maybe it was an orphanage. Maybe this is hurting my head. <laughs> <laughs> Just go around in circles. Cool. She wrote it in all caps. It turns out went to good old St. Vincent's home built in 1945 and operated by a religious order called the Brothers of Mercy who provided care for mentally ill men. Oh, there was only yeah. men. I guess all the women were tied up in other insane asylums. That's, that's very, you know, forward thinking in 1962 a nurse inexplicably suffocated two patients but later had charges dropped in 1968 reverend richard frank dolan turned the place into a rehab center known as the main artery what Ew. the what <laughs> the main artery in quotes is it is that a pun yeah oklahoma is the heart of the united states uh, I don't think is I it? don't know. Oh. It's don't... central ge geographically. And this mental <laughs> hospital happens to be the artery within Oklahoma. The main Ooh. artery. <laughs> the main. Who was in charge of that branding campaign? I Reverend told Dolan. you, Reverend Frank Dolan. Pay well, attention. Gosh. Good thing he went into being You're a reverend the worst instead of mother marketing. ever. You never listen to you me. You got to drink that less hurts wine. My feelings. <laughs> <laughs> In 1988, Reverend Dolan, oh, he's still alive 20 years later, was found, oh, no, he wasn't, was found beating to death in his apartment. Oh, no. <laughs> he 
the investigation into his mysterious death led police to Colorado, where a friend of the priest stated that he wasn't the that this wasn't the first attack on Dolan. He had a history of attacks and confrontations, including a near fatal attack that happened at the main artery. There was an arrest made in his murder. However, the sp- the suspect was released due to inconsistent evidence. I have a question about his death. Was it an attack on his main artery? Oh, wow. He was beaten to death. Oh. So, unless it was just I'm really go poor ahead planning. And say no. I like to think yes. They punched him right in that main <laughs> artery. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. Death is not funny. We're listed in the comedy section, guys. Like, this is where, I mean, not we. Gio knows a lot about podcasts. Well, (laughs) you know, Team Gio is its own thing. You guys don't have a team named after yourselves. Oh, Um, excuse me. Actually, though. Well, are you, you drink so much wine that you identify as wine? Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Whole 30 says otherwise. You are what you drink. Is that the thing? Okay. Sure. Whatever. What does it milkshake? feel like to be a milkshake? Milky. <laughs> Ugh. Frothy. I, w- <laughs> Ugh. I wish I could say I was surprised. <laughs> Chunky. <laughs> wow, it does not sound good. That's like a rotten milkshake. There's no such thing as a chunky milkshake. Ice cream chunks. No. The, the point of a milkshake <laughs> is that it's not chunky. Yeah, you gotta get it smooth. It's not a McFlurry, man. <laughs> is that what differentiates a McFlurry and a milkshake? Yes. The chunkiness? Chunkiness is the, that is the McDonald's ingredient. They add chunkiness? Okay. Chunkiness. Mmm, I'll have extra chunky in my McFlurry. <laughs> <laughs> Editing. <laughs> Wine, anyone? Wine? We good? I need to get a glass. There's only one glass. Because my, my opposable thumbs make it so easy to drink. <laughs> to this day, his death remains unsolved. What the actual fuck? So, rewind back to our summer mischief. About eight of us all load up and park at a church across the street and walk up to the property. Church across from the street from the mental hospital. Okay. I mean, it was run by a reverend, yeah, so it yeah. makes sense. Like, okay. easy commute. All right. This does make sense again. All of the windows were boarded up, and upon entering, we see the place is trashed. There's graffiti warnings everywhere, which I think always makes things a little more ominous. What Wait, of- there's graffiti warnings? Like, do not graffiti this place? Or like <laughs> a graffiti that says warning? I figured a graffiti that says warning, but... It's not clear. I don't know. Is hmm. it written artistically? What if it's graffiti that says, do not graffiti? Ooh, that's so meta. Yeah, well. Anyways, <laughs> one of my first sights in this first room on the left where there's a stained bathtub and some medical scrubs. No thanks. Ew, exactly. No thanks. She's stealing your lines, Christine. That's okay. Third to share. <laughs> We all walked through the place, huddled up in one group, as if that would really prevent the supernatural from fucking us up. You know, that's what people don't do in scary movies, and I think you made the right call. We'll find out. I mean, I guess she's writing us this, so... She turned out okay. Yeah. Right? Candy? Let's hope this isn't a ghost, Candy. Candy, you there? You okay? Hello? Candy? Eventually, we make it all the way through the place without experiencing anything out of the ordinary until we make it back to the entryway where there's a fucking Bible on the ground that was not there when we came in. I hate when Bibles are on the ground. I like the capital fucking Bible here. You like them in your hand? Well, I just like how everything else is like nice and, you know, tight. And then fucking Bibles in all caps. Like when those two words are next to each other, that's... That's how the the Bible is supposed to be mentioned that way, with the word fucking in front of it. I believe it's actually in the Bible. Yes. Oh, yeah? That's how it starts. Luke, this is Luke the fucking Bible. The King fucking James Bible. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard the train to Nopeville. Nope? <laughs> as soon as we saw it, we ran all the way to the car and never looked back. When we got back to the house, 
Wait, so how does she know it was a Bible? What do you mean? Did they get close enough to read the, it, the text? I'm sure it said Bible on the front, like most Bibles do. Then you know, like the gilded letters. But like, that means Holy that Bible. They were so nopeville about it, though, that they got close enough to figure that out. Well, they had to get close to know that it was a Bible in order to arrive at Nopeville. I'm sorry, I no, keep. No, on. they left. They left on the train to Nopeville. Oh, the Bible is not in Nopeville. I, I believe. In order to board the train <laughs> to you, Nopeville, exactly. they had to have first seen the Bible. We apologize, Candy, for asking so many questions about your story. It's been very good. The main arteries. You did a good job. A good job. Thing. We're ruining it, as we do. We do ruin everything on this podcast, don't we? Hand in life. It's a beautiful fire of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> when we got back to the house, my best friend Jamie showed us some video she got, and you can see a white figure quickly moving down the hallway. Although it may have been shitty blackberry quality, the figure was distinct. Blackberry? What year is this? 2010. So still behind. Still a little late to have a blackberry <laughs> friend of candy. But Brick Breaker. I forgot about Brick Breaker. Like, see? Exactly. I miss those days. See, Brick Breaker is timeless. Too bad they don't have an app for that. Because I'm a dog and know about apps. <laughs> Trademark. These days, Saints Vincent is, is privately owned, so it's hard to get access to the property. I'm glad we got a chance to experience it when we did, even if we didn't know the full extent of its dark history. Thanks for letting me share this story, this story and hopefully it was Christine Gasp, trademark <gasps> worthy. Keep up the great work, Candy. Thank you Thank so, you much, so candy. much, Candy. We really love that story. Yeah, it's my There's favorite one you. that I've ever read. It's my first time reading them, so it's definitely my favorite. That's historic. Historic. Thank you, Gio. Thanks, Gio. That was a good time. Yeah. Good boy. Thank you, good guys boy. and Candy. You want, yes. a, you want a treat? Yes. Baby G. Such a handsome boy. Oh. <laughs> such a handsome boy. <laughs> Isn't he such a handsome boy? He's a good boy. Oh, he's so good. Oh, he's so good. Oh, my, my sweet baboo. <laughs> you guys should do a whole episode of just that. Let's speak start. It, Let's do it. Speak Actually, it into probably existence. probably a YouTube video somewhere. Of all the clips of us going, sweet, sweet boy. boy. <laughs> sweet it's like, baboo. It's like those Owen Wilson videos where like they just have. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I really am impressed when he does that. <laughs> it's a great catchphrase. <laughs> That everyone should take part in. Yeah, it's a, it's a very Blaze thing to do also. Yeah, Blaze would be good at that. Mm-hmm. If only he were here. If only. He's just good at everything. <laughs> he sure is. All right. Guess what? What? I got a whole other story for you. Another one? Yeah. Great. Let's crack into it. Let's do it. Listen up, guys. Are it you ready? Yes. Yes. You sure? No. No. <laughs> okay, well, you let me know. Now. Okay. So, this story is from Ren. Ren says, hello. Hi, Ren. Hi. Hi, Ren. Ren says, I just discovered your podcast on a recent road trip. It seems to be a theme. And I'm in the low tens of your episode count. Oh, Ren, you've got a long way to go. You haven't even met Al yet. Disappointed. Oh, Al, she's so great. Isn't she? She's the best. Al pal. Yeah. My favorite person. Yeah. In the world. She's mine. Don't you love her? Yes. Don't you think she's pretty? She's the best. Don't the you prettiest. think she's so smart? Of course. So the funny. Smartest. What else? Um... <laughs> Don't worry, she doesn't listen. Oh, oh, that's right. Um, no, she's she's okay. Just okay. I know that she was in uh, Tanzania, and then I was like, "Oh, your roommate is cool," and then I was like into her, and then she came here, and then now we're dating. You know. All right, so Ren, you can basically just skip 
the rest of the episodes and get to present day. (laughs) That's pretty much all you missed. So, anyway, Ren, welcome to the present. Uh, So, you had just discovered our podcast on your road trip. Um, Ren says, I'm not sure if you're still doing listener stories. Oh, we are. We are and we're committed. And Ren says, and I'm too lazy to unlock my phone and check the feed. It's all right. You'll get there. Wow. I like her. Just (laughs) who said that's a her? I like them. Thank you. It's okay, Ren. Hang in there. You'll get here eventually. I like them. Cool. So anyway, (laughs) um, Ren says, uh, too lazy to unlock my phone and check the feed. But either way, I think you'll enjoy this. We hope so. In parentheses, team alcoholic milkshake, by the way. Hello. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, we have a delivery. Oh, a delivery. Ooh, look at this. I, uh, I'm Blaze. Oh, it's Blaze bringing, bringing milkshake for me because I'm drinking a milkshake. Hi, hon. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a kiss. I love you. This podcast is an abomination. Take me away from my mother. (laughs) Please. We're busy right now. (laughs) Ren has something to say. You guys are idiots. (laughs) That's something Blaze says all the time. You guys are idiots. Blaze is wrong. (laughs) Blaze is wrong. Ren, I am so sorry. Sorry, Ren. So sorry. I'm just going to start back from the beginning because I think we've all lost track of where this first paragraph went. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I have forgotten. (laughs) How long is a dog's memory? It's supposed to be good, but I'm, I'm a smaller dog. My brain is not quite as large. Poor dumb baby G. No. <laughs> Be nice to my sweet baby baby. It's okay. Gio. He's why handsome I need you enough. to tell me how handsome I am all the time because I forget. No, it's impossible because you're so handsome. How could you forget my sweet babu? So handsome doesn't matter if you're a little dumb. A little dumbo. Okay, so Ren. Hello again, Ren. Welcome back. Hello, Ren. Welcome to the podcast. I don't think there's anybody listening anymore. Me neither. It's okay. Gio's still here. That's what matters. Okay. Ren says, hello. Hello. Hi, Ren. (laughs) Can we continue? Uh, Ren says, I just discovered your podcast on a recent road trip, and I'm in the low tens of your episode count. I'm not sure if you're still doing listener stories, and I'm too lazy to unlock my phone and check the feed, but either way, I think you'll enjoy this. Team alcoholic milkshake, by the way. What, what? First of all, between the ages of 10 and 13, I was haunted by something my mom called a poltergeist. Ooh. I've been told over the years that it was anything from that. Wait. Oh, okay. I don't know this word. I've been M. I've been told over the years that it was anything from that to a dark fae. Maybe it's supposed it? to be fairy. How is it spelled? F-A-E. Listeners, help. Fae. I'm an expert in paranormal things, and I say it's fae, and it's a sprite-like creature that has wings, and I have no idea. It sounds like a fairy. Sounds an awful lot like a fairy. Uh, So I think we'd all be interested in hearing M's input. Yes. I, uh, my input is that it's whatever you want it to be. Continue. (laughs) And that's the moral of this story and make it whatever you want it to be. All right. So, Ren says, my first memory of this whole thing is us coming home at night to find the entire house opened up and lit. Every light was switched on. All the cupboard doors were open. The microwave was on and set to run for hours, etc. It's not safe, I don't think. I agree. We had a ritual before we left where we would go through the house and check all the doors, windows, and appliances. Ren says, anxiety runs in the family. Clearly. Mm. I mean, but also that's wise. Good job, Ren. And Ren's family. Ren's in our family, too. Like the podcast family. 
Agreed. Mm -hmm. So they would always do that before heading out. We knew the front and back doors had definitely been locked, so the chances of a neighbor playing a prank was pretty low. My mom was a little flustered. A little? (laughs) Wow. Oh, but played it off as something unexplained yet safe and funny, so we moved on pretty easily. Props to your mom. Safe and funny. I think I would have come home and it just started crying and then set the house on fire. Yes. Yeah? Is yeah. that professionally, in your professional opinion, is that the right answer? Uh, well, what, as I like to say, uh, when in doubt, sage it out. That's one of the catchphrases that I use. Okay, so go for the sage and not but just setting the whole thing ablaze. Ablaze? Like your fiancé. Hashtag. Hashtag. Ablaze. Lamp. I think it's I Love Lamp. Set the night ablaze for Christ. Yes. <laughs> Geo, that's such a good hashtag. Wow, that memory, Geo. You know, that memory is getting brother, good. Christine's brother came up with that one. Oh, there goes your screen. <laughs> I broke something. Oh my gosh. How many times have we've been doing this podcast for so long? We've been... <laughs> and she still can't figure this out, this microphone screen. It'll be fine. It's fine. Nope, nope. That's not right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It goes in the little hole, and then you twist the little thing to make it tight. That's... <laughs> this is real good podcasting. I don't know what that means. This is all very professional. It's actually more like shouting into the void than speaking into a microphone. There's nobody on the other end of this anymore. Jesus. Okay. Let's continue. Anyway. <clears throat> so... The entire house was opened up and everything was on, including the microwave. And it sounds very dangerous, but your mom was super cool about it. So, Ren says, After that, things would start moving around the house and it eventually progressed to dishes, chairs, and cabinets being tossed, dragged, or slammed. Yikes. By this time, my mother and I had named whatever was doing it George. Oh, that's nice. That is a nice name. That's a like a nice... Neighborly. What's the word I'm looking for? Friendly? Sure. Okay. Unassuming. Like curious George. Like a, yeah, like the monkey. But he got high on ether that what? one time. One of the stories, he got high on ether. He's a, he's a wild monkey. Oh. You didn't know that? You didn't read that one? No. It's a good one. <laughs> so maybe it was George doing this. Curious George. High on ether. It's possible. Is it? No. Oh, thank you for your expertise. Uh, So my mother and I had named it, had named whatever was doing it George. And we treated these instances as minor annoyances rather than something scary, probably due to being absolutely desensitized to the point that most of our dishes were plastic. Smart. That's why we didn't move, by the way, since you often ask this. It's amazing what a person can get used to. Not me. Nope. Nope. Thank you. One day, George slid my mom's coffee mug off the table, and she shouted something along the lines of, George, there are better ways to get attention. Stop being a bad guest. Don't fuck with my coffee cup. Wait, That's said my that? number one rule. No, that's oh, oh, just me. Yes. Yeah, but do you yell at the poltergeist? Yes. Isn't I say George. to incite them? That's a very good point. I say... Turn on all the lights, turn on the microwave, risk burning the house down. That's all fine. But do not slide my coffee cup off the table. Was there coffee in it? I assume so. Yes, we will say there was. Yeah. We'll say there was. Okay. We'll say that George made a mess and wasted perfectly good coffee. Then mom was in the right. I agree. I approve of, of that decision. Okay. So this is probably when you're both expecting things to get worse. How did you know? But I'm happy to report that they got better. (gasps) Yay. Nothing like a mom stepping up and taking charge and like shutting that shit down. Sometimes it's all that's needed, you know? George went from messing with our shit to doing things like enforcing bedtime. Hey-o. Parenting. Sorry, I'm interjecting here into Ren's story. Sounds just like Linda. Like the sex talk? Like what, what is George doing for parenting? Enforcing bedtime. Oh, oh, I thought there was that there was a comma after enforcing bedtime and then parenting. Because I know all about English uh, stuff. 
<laughs> Punctuation? Gonna, yeah, we're going to start over. <laughs> uh, hmm. Editing, editing. Hello. Elevator music. Boom. Uh, so, George went from messing with our shit to doing things like enforcing my bedtime. I had a tendency to stay up too late reading. Oh, me too. Ren, you and I were little nerds. And he would turn off my light when he decided it was time for me to sleep. If I turned the light back on and kept reading, after a while he'd get serious and turn my radio on full blast and play static. Ugh, so annoying. That's so creepy. After that, I usually went ahead and went to bed. Oh, okay. All right. I guess static can be soothing. For some reason, I was convinced George lived in my closet and would sometimes go in there and read and hang out with him. At that point, I sort of felt like he was part of the family because he chased my mom's boyfriend, who I really didn't like, out of the house. All right, George. Nice. I like that. I'd been lying in my bed, which shared a wall with the TV, trying to get to sleep while the two of them watched a comedy and laughed and were generally super annoying to a sleepy, cranky kid. I remember being mostly asleep, coherent enough to think, ugh, shut up. (laughs) Seconds later, I heard a loud thud and mom's boyfriend yelling, what the fuck? That sounds familiar. But then the TV turned off, so I went to bed instead of checking to see what happened, like you do when you live with Mm -hmm. a poltergeist. Mm -hmm. Yep. Familiar. The next morning, mom told me that the painting over the TV had flown off the wall across the living room and slammed down on his toes. Oh my God. George did not like him. Sounds like he deserved it, too. Needless to say, he got out of there and didn't come back. Nice. What a boyfriend. Yikes. This is also when my mom decided George was a subconscious manifestation of my buried preteen rage. Whoa. (laughs) That was a twist. I could have used one of those as a preteen. I was wondering. She's like, I didn't like him. And then all of a sudden, shit happens to him. Like, to be fair... All he was doing was watching a movie, and shit just started happening. We don't know mm. why she didn't like him. Ren has powers. Ren is scary now. We gotta be nice to her from now on. Or him. Or him. We need to be nice to them. Them. Him or her or them. Ren. Ren. Uh, I lost my place. Oh. Subconscious manifest- manifestation by buried preteen rage. How did I lose that? I'm pretty sure this wasn't the case, though, because we moved a year after that incident for work, not because of George. Mm. And I am sad to report that George didn't come with no, us. Oh, that's so sad. Well, it might help you to know that maybe he's, you know, I supporting George. some other angsty preteen out there. Yeah, that's true. Getting rid of boyfriends and stuff. Mm-hmm. Good job, George. So, story's not quite over yet. Ooh, okay. Well, dot, 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 he might have, depending on what you believe George is, but I'll explain that in a different email. What? What a tease. Cliffhanger. Uh, And just end this by telling you that no more dishes, furniture, or bad men were harmed after our relocation. I also stopped reading in closets, much to my mother's relief. That was a nice story. I like that. We're not quite done oh, yet. Oh, I what? still, I like it as it continues. <laughs> All right. One, one more sentence. Thanks so much for blending what I thought were two very different interests into an amazing podcast. Aw, you're, you're so welcome. You're very welcome, Ren. And thank you for writing in your amazing story. All right. That's what you guys do. You guys just blend these stories every week. All the time. How do we do this? Never stop. We're so good at this. Amazing. It's because of all the practice we've had doing this over the year and a couple months. The days and days of practice and spitballing off each other. Oh, yeah. You know, this chemistry we've got going. Oh, a thousand percent. A thousand percent. Did did you know that we weren't friends before this podcast? I don't know if anyone's heard that. I had no idea. But apparently that's a thing. Well, tell me about it. Well, we actually weren't friends before this podcast. Weren't we? Not quite. We went to, we did the same program in grad school, and then we both moved to the same city. And then 
I was all like, hey, you want to do a podcast? And you were like, sure. And then we became friends through the podcast, basically. What was our first friend date? Um, oh, we went to a fair and were in a maze with a lot of mud. Yeah. Yes. That was a good time. That was a wow. great time. I had so much fun. I'm glad you remember it. I have a great memory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. like Gia. No, Gia wasn't there. I was scared of you because you're so tall. Yeah, that's right. But now you're my baby boy, my handsome baby boy. Now they're best friends. Yeah. We are best friends. You're so sweet. Okay. So. News next story. Tell me a story. The story is from Lindsay. The subject is, yo, it happened. What happened, Lindsay? Let's find. Let's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> There's Thanks, no pregnancies Gio. here. No pregnancies. This is what people <laughs> okay, Lindsay. Hello, Em and Christine. Uh oh. Well, hello. Hi, Gio. You, you can't say hi. Nope. L- Lindsay doesn't know about you. I guess. <laughs> Ooh, that's awkward, man. Okay. Here's a fun little ditty for you. I'm ready. Until now, whenever I listen to your podcast, specifically the listener stories, I have to admit I was always weirdly jealous of all the people who had ghost encounters. It's okay. It happens. Me too. Mm-hmm. I'm not because I've had many. Not Because I was a paranormal investigator. I just have the one in the Whaley house and then the one that lives in my cellar. Yes. Actually, there are two in this house. That's what I meant. Do you know that? Yes. I saw one. I live here, don't I? Yeah, but I saw one like the other night. Last night, two nights ago. What were you doing here? I was recording our podcast with you. Oh, right. We were recording an episode. Forgot about that. Oh, wait, no. What were we doing? No, we were recording something. Probably. And I saw a ghost girl run out of uh, Christine's amazing brother's bathroom. The brother's amazing, not the bathroom. Right. <laughs> They're both pretty amazing. They're both pretty amazing. Yes, I do recall. But he's pretty amazing. He's but the there's most amazing. no proof that that's a different ghost than the cellar ghost. I mean, she was like young and sweet. You could tell, you know. Are you sure she's not your, my brother's girlfriend? Um ghostly girlfriend yeah he's a very lonely guy (laughs) so i hear if you'd like his phone number email us at at, and that's why we drink.com that's our email address yep good job (laughs) lonely and ready to mingle (laughs) what a good sister (laughs) wow you really care about him i can tell if you're on tinder Keep an eye out. Yep. Just keep scrolling. (laughs) Gio's obviously never used Tinder before. Scrolling. (laughs) I have no testicles. What do I need Tinder for? (laughs) Back to Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Tell us your story. We're ready. So... I was always weirdly jealous of all the people who had ghost encounters. That might be sick and twisted. I think it's pretty weird. But whatever. I was. Until this past Christmas. To my delight, over Christmas dinner, my parents told my extended family a story that made me so excited and happy. When I was in elementary school, I lived in a cute little house with my parents, little sister, and baby brother. I shared a room with my little sister, and we had bunk beds. When I was around six years old, my sister was four... My parents said that they would often hear me chatting to myself in my room. They said every once in a while when they would go into the room, they would find me sitting cross-legged on the floor, talking animatedly to the corner as if to a friend. There was never anything in the corner. My parents said that this sight creeped them out, but they just let it be. They had three kids and a fourth on the way. They were busy. A little after uh, uh, after this odd discovery... My four-year-old sister started having night terrors. She slept in the bottom bunk and in the middle of the night would start screaming and start running around the room as if something was chasing her. She was still asleep. That's what I do. She was still asleep, though, because when my mom tried to wake her up and talk to her, she wouldn't acknowledge my mom. She would keep keep on... (laughs) What? That's one of the things that scares me the most is sleepwalkers. Oh, I used to sleepwalk. It's terrifying. Yeah, I would... I got... It went in my underwear and went outside to go sledding in the middle of winter. And I shouldn't have been doing that. 
because it was cold. For a lot of reasons. Yeah. One of which was that it was cold. Please Underwear never fall asleep too. near me. Okay. Okay. So much for our sleepover. <sighs> Nobody sleeps at a sleepover. Oh, that's true. You got me there. Anyway. Anyway. She would keep running, keep on running and screaming with her eyes shut. I remember this happening, but what my parents told us happened next, I struggled to recall to memory. According to my parents, I would yell down from the top bunk, Hey, leave her alone. And my sister would stop running and drop to the ground, but she would still be asleep and still be screaming. What? <laughs> I'm like trying to picture this. How is that better? I don't know. I don't know. According to my mom, the only thing that would stop her from screaming was me coming down from my bunk bed and hugging her. Oh, That's kind of sweet and kind of terrifying. Yeah. She said that as soon as I wrapped my arms around her, her body would go completely limp and she would be fast asleep as if nothing happened. That's either a very dedicated sibling or a very sleepy sibling. Yeah. Or both. Or both. My parents said this happened a few times. Before, during, and after this time, I would still often be found chatting to the same empty corner. Then once my youngest brother was born and my family moved to a new house, I never was known to talk to empty space again. Oh, that's oh. good. <laughs> Ooh, what a relief. I yeah. thought maybe you were still talking to empty corners. <laughs> Uh, it's interesting hearing the story now and only realizing or only really remembering a few details of it. But my parents swear that this all happened. Thank you so much for your podcast and all of the hard work you put into it. You're so welcome. You are so welcome. Oh my God. You guys, you guys are the real ones that make this happen. You're like the real heroes yeah, and you're like heroes. why we do this. Uh, yeah. So oh thank you God. so much. Oh my God. You guys, oh, you guys make my morning commute awesome. I seriously love and am inspired by your work. We are an inspiration. We sure are. Oh my God. How do we do it? I'm not really sure how, but Sure. I'll take it. Stay spooky. Lindsay from Oakland, California. Thank you, Lindsay. Not we sure will we stay a, spooky. Not sure we have a choice here. No, we do not. Well, it depends on this next story, how spooky it is. Ooh, Baby G. Coming from Baby G. -o. Baby G. What do you have for us, Baby G? -o? Handsome boy. The last story of this episode. Hi, Christine and M. Hello. Who are we talking Wait, to? It's not, it's, not, it's not for you, though. Yeah, Gio. no. That's it, awkward. I mean, I'm the guest host, but yes, so they didn't know. It's Shannon. It is Shannon. Hi, Hi Shannon. Shannon. Ooh, that Look was insane. That chemistry, you know, we got this. Because like, we spend so much, so much time, time together. together. <laughs> team milkshake, because I tried team wine and no one wanted that. Yes. Okay, but also relatable. Yes. I feel like that's the story I want to read, but it's probably not what I'm about to read. But anyways, first of all, I found you on Spotify, and let me tell you how much my life has become consumed by your stories. Tell us. It's all I talk about and listen to because I'm desperately trying to catch up. Episode 36. Episode 36? Nice job. We are all consuming. I'm not even sure what we episode we're actually you. on. Uh, we are on episode... I have no idea. I'm F sure you're 55, close. 54, 5. This next line's a little concerning. I don't, My kid I don't. says, why don't you listen to music anymore, Mom? Which clearly means she listens... Her kid can hear her listening to this, and we say curse words. Well, you guys. Children gotta learn sometime. Yeah, you little shit. <laughs> That's what my dad calls me. <laughs> People catch me laughing at work or come up behind me and I jump out of my chair. Needless to say, I look like a lunatic. Em, your laugh is amazing. Give us a good um, laugh, Em. Okay. Yeah, um, em laugh. I need something funny. Come on. You can do it. You don't need uh, to. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty I've a accurate. Cold. I have a cold. It's a pretty I'm a little sick. Um, that's the only reason why it's not a normal M laugh. Oh, is that why your voice sounds different today? Yeah, it's, I have a cold. I'm sorry, everyone. M, your laugh is amazing, and I completely know how you feel when laughing at uncomfortable situations. Don't we all? Like right now. <laughs> like, like this very moment. Also, I totally sweat like Christine when I get anxious. Same. I adore you both. Show them your sweat. <laughs> Can't you hear it dripping out of my armpits and off of my forehead? I can. 
Listeners, can you hear it? You're anxious right now? Every minute of every day. Every minute. So here's one of my stories. As long as I can remember, I've been I've had reoccurring dreams. Two of them came to me in real life. Okay. Wait, 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 I'm wait, just wait, ready wait, to see wait, where this wait, is going. What was that? Two of these have... As long as I could remember, I've had reoccurring dreams. Two of them came to me in real life. Oh, I misheard that. Okay. I used to have... I used to have reoccurring dreams that I was chain smoking cigarettes. That's so lame. I know. And I've never smoked. And then I would start getting cravings during the day. What? It was a weird time. Have you, you've never smoked though? Like you never tried it? Because no. maybe that's a key. No. Maybe it's your like body or your soul telling you something. You need to try cigarettes. Past life regression. I'm afraid yeah. because in these dreams I would, and when I say chain smoke, I mean there would be literally a cigarette in each hand. And every single inhale like would be double like double fisting I was, cigarettes. I would double double fist cigarettes. Wow! Don't smoke, kids. Yeah, lung cancer. Yeah. Not that I know anything about that because again, I've never smoked a cigarette. But but do you have lung cancer? No, you do not. She well, now I'm not so sure. Should I go check? Yes. Okay, I'll go check. This is the one that makes me believe in so much more than this life. As a child. Oh, this is the one that makes me believe in so much more than this life. As a child, I would dream about driving. I was so small, I couldn't see over the steering wheel. Most of the time, I had all of my sisters and cousins in the car. I would drive as fast as possible to get to our parents, who were, for some reason, in trouble. Then I would crash into a tree, distinctive by a twist in the trunk, and everyone would disappear. I then got out of the car... And would be in an empty cow field. I would frant- I would be frantically searching for my family as I knew I was dying. I could feel myself getting incredibly weak. I pray, not sure whom I was praying, to get another chance to talk to my family. Aww. I needed to be there for them and would wake up in a sweaty panic. Fast forward to the age of 20... Where I could see over the steering wheel, LOL. Oh, good. That's good to hear. I was on my way home from work, and I was probably driving way too fast. Probably? Or you were? She was. Let's have a talk, Shannon, about safe driving practices. I'm a dog, (laughs) and I know all about driving. So, drive safely. You heard it straight from Gio's mouth. Drive safely, kids. You can see me in the videos telling my mother to drive safely from the back seat. It's true. I had an automatic strap and not a lap belt on. I heard a loud crack. My axle snapped. My car took a sharp turn into a tree. This is the tree from my dream. (gasps) No. Now I feel bad because it was like the axle. It wasn't really Shannon's fault. No, it wasn't Shannon's fault. We're no, sorry, I'm sorry, Shannon. I'm sorry. You drive safe. I bet I bet you're great. I bet you were going the speed limit. But if yes. she was driving slower, would the axle have broke? I don't well, know anything about see, cars. Shannon's probably alive. So maybe if Shannon had driven faster later or just uh-huh. slower for longer, it would have been even worse. You, you know? Mean, yes. That's math I can't do. You think I'm doing math right now? <laughs> I'm not doing math. Do you know what this tree either. was next to? A cow barn. Wait, a, f- a, a field. field. A field. Yeah. yeah, right next to a cow field that usually had cattle on it. Driving by every day for some reason, I never noticed it. I crashed into the tree and blacked out. Oh. I saw a bright light so warm and embracing. I remember saying I need to talk to my family and tell them how much they mean to me. I don't remember anyone telling me anything, just someone who smiled at me. I'm still not sure if it was male or female. Or neither. (laughs) That's true. It was... That's true. I mean, the title of this, by the way, was Angels Exist Too. So I assume this is the angel. Angels don't have to have a gender. To my knowledge. As far as I know, they don't. I was... Drawn as a cherub once. 
In a, uh, you personally? Yes, me personally. Seems mm-hmm. accurate. Uh, someone was staring at me while I was at uh, a square downtown. That's not normal. Of a city. And um, he came up to me with the drawing, and it was me, but I was like a cherub, like a chubby baby. And I paid him $5 because I didn't know what else to do. And I said, thank you. It's amazing. And <laughs> I kept it. I guess what else would you do in that situation? I've seen it in his room. <laughs> it's, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, uh, we're going to need to get a picture of that and put it up on our t-shirts. Facebook page. <laughs> t-shirts, no. It'll be on a mug soon enough. Oh, good. This is really going to make your Tinder page go crazy. You can find us at, and that's why we drinked up bigcartel.com to see the cherub drawing. Yes. Soon, but not yet. Keep your expectations low. <laughs> Where were we, Geo? Little baby I'm G? I'm still not sure if it was male or female. This is when I felt someone. Or neither. Or neither. This is when I felt, that's kind of like me. I don't have testicles. I'm a neither. <laughs> Not quite sure that's the definition, but okay. And I used the same joke twice. <laughs> <laughs> this is when I felt someone lift me like a cradled in a, lift me like a cradled position. I was then gently placed on the ground. When I woke up, my car was upside down. A helicopter was landing and my family was standing outside a fence. They were called because I had an old-fashioned phone book, LOL, that had ice on my da- uh, by my dad. That's right, people. Ice. In case of emergency, put it in your phone so first responders know who to call. This is a PSA. I did not know what that was. But like, ice. But so she had a phone book, though? That said ice? Maybe it like was an address marked, book. Like the page was marked? Oh, like a little black book. But it says a phone book, like a big phone book. I don't book. understand. Like a like a planner, but you keep people's phone numbers and addresses in there. Like what you did before you had a cell phone. Come Jenny, on, guys. You'll have to send us an email to clarify what this phone book looked like. I'm telling you what it looked like. Like it's like a... Just we like don't a ever trust book. you, Christine. Yeah. Am I 10 years older than everyone else here? Yes. I'm definitely a lot older than Gio, that's for yeah, sure. You're older than <laughs> me, too. By a year. You should know. You know that movie, Little Black Book, with some blonde actress? Yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. Yeah, but it's not a Little Black, black phone, phone book. But it's, a f- it's like an address book. So we're not talking about the yellow pages? I know what those are. We're not talking about the yellow pages. I don't think... What about the white pages? I don't think she had a full yellow pages phone book in the car with her, with her dad, like, highlighted. That I'm going to be totally to honest. That's what I thought of at first. I mean, me too. But then I came around to the whole Brittany personal. Murphy. Oh. oh. And Ron Livingston. Fast. Uh-huh. What do you mean? I didn't look anything up. I just know this. You know, my dad used to work at Blockbuster. He would probably know that off the top of his head. Blaze. Blaze. Right. Blaze. Blaze. <laughs> Clink your glass. He's watching cartoons downstairs. Blaze? Mm, I don't hear him running. No, I think he's abandoned us. Maybe he went to work. <laughs> uh, because I had an old-fashioned phone book, LOL, and I had ice um, by my dad. The police called him, and the description of me, he thought, was my cousin. Then they called my uncle. Anyways, they were standing there. I'm glad they came. That was good that the uncle was there when they called. Sorry, we're ruining your story, Shannon. The police made a statement about how it was hard for them to understand how I was alive. As the car crashed into the tree, I was flung out of the driver's side window. According to the reports, they said the car rolled three times and once right over my body. (gasps) Oh my god. And yet I only had a small cut on my leg. Are you a superhero? What? Oh, I'm sorry. This is an angel story. Angels exist too. Yeah, the angel. angel. Yeah. Wow. Wow. The driver's side tire was smashed into the floor of my car. Ugh. They stated that if I had my lap belt on, I would have lost my legs. Okay, but also everyone should be wearing a seatbelt. 
Yes, unless you're in that unless Shannon you're, situation. Unless you are Shannon. Unless you're damn sure your guardian angel's coming for you. Yes. Even now, as I write this out, I realize how crazy it sounds to be alive. We're and glad an you angel are. carried me to safety. We're glad that happened, yeah, too. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Since then, this tree has been removed for a freeway. Oh, pardon nature. I like to <laughs> pee on trees. <laughs> Don't like to pee on freeways. But every time I drive by this place, I feel a warm feeling inside. Anyway, love you tons. Keep love being you amazing. XO, Shannon. We Aww, will. Love you, Shannon. Thanks. And we she sent this from an too. iPhone, by the way. So. Shannon. So she, wow. she, she lost the phone book. And She's now come has a long way. <laughs> She's come a long way from her phone book. And typing that whole thing on her iPhone, that's amazing. I know. That's impressive. Yellow I pages. I can barely type a two-sentence text on my iPhone. I can barely have an iPhone without losing it at the airport. Oh, you did that, didn't you? That's right. I sure did. Dad was very angry when he came home after that. We know. Yeah. <laughs> We know. We're all still feeling it. To I'm be not fair, I it. heard it was stolen. Oh, yeah. I heard that, too. Do you know what time it is? I think I do, because it is time to read some names. 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 Thanks, G. Wow. <laughs> what names are we going to read, you may ask? Tell us. You tell us. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do what do we what are we not supposed to say? Patreon donators, <laughs> is that the bad one? Donators, Don- which grammatically I think makes more sense than donors, but we'll say whatever we want. How about patrons? I like Pat- patronators. Patronators. Let's do patronators. All right, let's read off our patronators. But first, Ugh, I don't know why that makes me uncomfortable. That word. You just physically shrank when you heard it. <laughs> I did. You suggested it. Patronators. It sounds like the patriarchy. That's why. I'm so sick of the patriarchy. It's the anti-patriarchy, actually. Oh, it is? Oh, then maybe that's why I shrunk It's like it. the Terminators coming for the patriarchy. And oh. there are patronators. It sounds like the New England Patriots, which are the most shiver-inducing NFL franchise. Don't bring as sports everyone into this. Knows. Wait. This is this is a historic moment. Sports have been brought up on this podcast. <laughs> delete, delete, delete. Future Christine, edit it out. Do we before that happens? Yeah, tell me what. I'd really like to pay tribute to Geo and thank thank him for being on this episode, this listener's episode. Do we have a geoscope? Oh yeah, let's do that first. Well, as much as I love geoscopes, I, I mean, they tell me my horoscopes all the time. So I wanted to honor the most important person in my life. Me. Almost. M. <laughs> me. I'm sorry, M. Yes, you are the most important. But That's what I thought. We're going to honor Blaze. Who? <laughs> he deserves some respect. Exactly. Here, the think. man who, who just doesn't get his time through this podcast, he gets no recognition. There's no hashtag Team Blaze. So in honor of him, we're going to do a hashtag Team Blaze, Blaze Escope. Or you as heard- my mother said, a Horo Blaze. You heard it here first. Hashtag Team Blaze, Blaze Escope, or Horo Blaze. Horo Blaze. I prefer horror blaze. <laughs> I do too, for some reason. It sounds horrible, but that's why I like it. This is a a paranormal slash horror slash true crime podcast, so horror blaze is what we shall do. Buckle up, because we're going for a wild ride. The horror blaze for April. How about letting a few of these sweet feelings slip out? Yeah, Blaze. Put your reserve aside and get a little mushy. Get mushy. Ooh. If you're coupled up, renew and reinvigorate the romance by reiterating why it is you're involved. I'm winking. If you've got a crush, well, you're not going to realize you're interested by sheer... Oh, excuse me. If you've got a crush, well, 
they're not going to realize you're interested by sheer intuition. You're going to have to tell me. My mom tells me that that's what happened when she met my dad. That she just stared at him from across a bar, hoping that he would notice her. Mm, That's nice and creepy. Something like that. (laughs) Ask some in-depth questions about them, and express how fascinated you are by their answers. Tell me how fascinated you are by me. (laughs) And by them in general. The end of the Blazoscope. That was or a the horror good blaze. one. Yeah, that was the, that horror blaze is probably one of the best horror blazes I've ever heard. They should probably just the only. all be horoscopes for blaze. I get I enough know. recognition. Behind every podcast host, there's a man named Blaze. Is there M? There is. Behind me too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else that might be supporting you every day and loving you and telling you how great you are. I do. Other than Gio. Gio. (laughs) Yes, that's right. Other than Gio and Blaze. Well, Christine's brother is pretty cool. He's He's he's, all right. He's he's helpful in that he's really great. That's very helpful. He's very good at Chase. Yes. He never wins. Exactly. That's That's why he's so good. (laughs) I think we should all take a moment and, you know, talk about the real unsung hero. Mm. The, uh, mm. All the Owl Pals of the world, or specifically the original Owl Pal. Yeah, who was that? Tell me more. Thought you would know. Oh. Thought you would like to say a nice thing or two. Um, yes. Owl Pal. Oh, her. Yeah, she's pretty great. You better hope she edits that out. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Al Pal will be pleased. Thanks. Thanks very much. No problem. Okay. So now for all our patronators, all our patronators out there. Hello. Hello. Hope you're still here. You're probably not because I wouldn't be either. Whoa. Is it a ghost? It's a ghost. Which ghost? Probably the bad one because that was a loud noise and it was also my phone. So... It was hurting my property, so probably an evil ghost, so probably Cellar Girl. Don't speak evil into existence like that. Cellar Girl has done nothing bad to us. That you know of. All right. Do we all have our phones in safe places and we're ready to really appreciate? Yes. Me and my phone are ready. (laughs) Good to hear it. All right. So... We will start with our $25 patrons. Patronators. Patronators. Tell you people out there, you (laughs) cool cats who donate and that's why we drink. We'd like to thank you by using our jazz radio voices to read out your names. And here we go. We have <laughs> I got this. <clears throat> Abran Cruz, Elena, Tiaisha, Antonia, Classic Kevin, Maddie, Alex K, Mel, Hunter, Kat, Abby, Mansi, Madison, Parker. Julian, Letty's mom. Good job, Letty's mom. Sarah, Laura, Liz A, Ashley, Marissa, Riley, Emma, Tara, Marlin, and Doug. Hi, Doug. Did you just say Marlin? I did haven't because we got, we <laughs> I did because I was I was just reading the first name and then I saw oh it's Marilyn and yes. Doug. Oh my gosh. Marilyn and Doug. I like Doug. <laughs> Thanks, G. Brady, Emma, V for Victoria, Sarah J, Jenna, and Delia. Deli. Thanks, Deli. Colette, Riz, Auna. I hope I said that right. And Priscilla, Lauren, Lara, Anna. Kimberly, Chris, 
Heather, Nicole with an H, Kestrel, Amanda, Scotty Joe, Clinton, Jessica, Megan June, Sabrina, at Christian Spicer, Sierra, H. Funkhauser, Ravioli Senpai, Natalie, Mio, Monica, Daniel, Elaine, Stephanie H., Justin W., Sarah S., Ashley, Samantha, Hannah, Chloe, Aaron, Liv, Tristan, Drea, Desiree, Blaze. He's the best. Hashtag I love lamp. Hashtag set the night ablaze for Christ. Tessa, Eric, Jennifer, and Lisa G. Yay. We only have like 800 more at least. First, we'd like to say thank I mean, you to thank all you. of our donors. Thank we you appreciate you. I can say, as someone who directly benefits from your donations, we appreciate every single donation, mm, no matter how mm, large or quite. small. I sure do. I sure do. Pays for all my wine. Let me read some more. All right. So we're down to the $10 donors. $10 patronators. Patronators. How many do I read? Do I just keep going? Tell us what the $10 level is. I don't know. I believe it's... It says $10. I it says, believe it's Team Sassy the Clown or oh, Team Geo. I don't know. It's a team! It's a team! <laughs> Good job, team people who give $10 and get all of the above tier rewards plus other things. All right. Thank you to Emily, Dana, Karen, Andrew, Julia, Michelle, John, Mackenzie. M- I don't even know where to start. Ma- Mary. Mary? Oh, okay. So, oh, shoot. I'm bad at this. How was Mary hard to say? It's spelled M A I R E. Mary? Mary? It's a weird spelling. It's an interesting, unique, and beautiful spelling. We see you, Mary, or uh, other name, and we appreciate C- you. Sinan? Sinan? Sin- oh, shoot. I'm so bad. Oh, Nicole. <laughs> well, I don't know. I know. I cheated. That was a cheating. cheating. Sarah. Sarah. There are two Sarahs in a row. Natalie. Dakiana. Avon. I'm, why do you... Your names were so much more, like... I'm better at talking than you. That's true. Alexis, Megan, Tiffany, Aaliyah, Maddie, Ems, Ashley, Craftosaurus. See, I get that one, though. Miranda, who lit Toph on fire? Good question. (laughs) Michelle, Laura, Kayla, Lindsay, Kira, Sierra, Felicia, Kayla, Tia, Ashley, Jen, Nathan, Lauren, Nicole, Christine, Wu Dao, Jenny, Veronica, Taylor, Hannah, Britt, Cindy, Tana, Hillary, Heather, Chelsea, Kelsey, Brandy, Amelia, Ian, Christy, Erica, Melissa, Kaylin, Nicole, Jessica, Memo, Taylor, Florian, Jennifer, Emmy, Jenny, not Jenna from Forrest Gump. Oh, Jenny, not Jenna. I can't do it. Jenna. It's fine. It's fine. You want to try? Jenna. 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 From Forrest Gump. Tammy, Savannah, Shayna, Jeremy, Chelsea, Kelsey, Theron, Jesse, Stephanie, The Lost Kitty, Tyler, Taylor, Diana, Diana. You're doing great. Diane, I was on a roll. Ash, Emma, Mad Max, Lauren, Mallory, Stephanie, Joshua, Ashley, Madison, Tim, uh, I, Aya, Aja, A- Griffin, Lisa from Canada, M, uh, Keychain, Brooke, Aaron, Nicole, Evie, Abby, Jennifer, Kelly, Summer, Elizabeth, Alyssa, Claire, Allie, Amber, Rebecca, Angelica, Selena, Robert, Mandy, Tessa, Casey Lee, Renee, Amber, Civiqua, Civiqua, uh, Courtney, Kirsten, 
Oh, Kirsten. I mean, I don't know Kirsten because I'm M. Uh, Molly, Vicky, Jen, Emily, Joe, Yi Fang, Chris, Brittany, T Bones, Sarah. Definitely not a superhero. Superhero. Sophia G. Andrea. Beepo. Beep boop up. Wait, that's your thing. Beep boop bop boop. <laughs> uh nadia abby alexi uh tanya jojo oh this one she gave um pronunciation key kaya because it says pronounced like papaya oh i was gonna say why did it take you so long to say kaya because it's i had to read how it was pronounced desiree chessie chloe kayla lynn Haley, Haley lion Sorry, lion? Is that like a lot? I don't know. That's like one word. Sky, Sierra, Lexi, Rin, Shret, Weezer in <laughs> Tokyo, Adrian, Adriana, Kelsey, Julia, Jasmine, Becky, Michelle, Brianna, Carissa, Lillian, Amy, Ariana, Ariana, Audrey, Jen, White Collar Crimes Podcast, Susie, Summer, Megan, Kendall, Jackie, Jamie, Ankiara, Stephanie, Leah, or Leah, Alyssa, <laughs> Afy, <laughs> Emily, Spooky Delight, Samantha, Hazel, Thou, 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 Ashley, Brittany, Courtney, Noel, all the Sarahs left after the first Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> you, Sarah, all the you're Sarah's a gem. Left after that, love it. Jenna, Lindsay, Erica, Lori, Clara, Ricky, Cynthia, Carolina, Becca, Carolyn, Kim, AK, Carissa, oh, Rissa, I mean, Lissa, uh, Lissy, uh, Sarah, Eve, Eduardo, Zoe, Corinne, Dejo, uh, Kelsey, Benny. I'm sweating so much right now. <laughs> Are <laughs> you sweating or is that yeah. a name? Uh, no, it's me. <laughs> Hillary, Alyssa, uh, <laughs> a.k.a. Flip Wizard McKay. Uh, Am- <laughs> oh, Flip Wizard. <laughs> Flip Hi. Wizard McKay. Amanda, Lily, uh Keely, Nanelle, Katrina, Stephanie, Katie, Stella, Kim, Ruben, Sam, Melanie, Karina, Jillian, Teresa, Kaz, Kara, Jessica, Brittany, Car- Katie, Charlotte, Honor, Alexandra, Sydney, Charlotte, Ruth, Chelsea, Rachel, Dolores, Mary, Megan, Constance, Kat, Beth, Zara, Alicia, Devin, Laura, Michelle, Marissa, Anita, Lisa, Megan, Hector, Riley, Holly, Betsy, Jackie, Taylor, Jamie, Eva, Patty, Julia, Heather, Iris, Allison, Aaron, Megan, Shannon, Batman, Beatrice, James, Kyle, Stephanie, Lindsay, Addie, Jessica, Jacqueline, Zephyr, Zozo, Abby, Jackie, Leah, Callie, Jessica, Claire, Maddie, Marie, Amy, Hillary, Viviana, Aaron, Heather, Julia, David, Diane, Morgan, Amanda, Sarah, Leslie, Taylor, LB, Kay- Kylie, Amy, Yanelli, Katie, Nicole, Rachel, Kaylee, oh, Kay- how many Kayleys? Sydney, David, <laughs> Jessica, Hillary, Christina, Steph, Aida, uh, Jocelyn, Sarah, Elena, Aaron, Sarah, Beth, Nikki, Emily, Teresa, Sarah, Caitlin, Wendy, Rose, Lauren, and Jess, Aaron, Justi- Justin, Chloe, Carolyn, Erica, Tuna, Lita, Courtney, Haley, Nicole, Christina, Mia, Shannon, Tara, Adriana, Miranda, Jenny Lee, Morgan, Kaylee, Kayla, Emily, Libby, Carrie, Mish, Danielle, Brandy, Don, Haley, Kit, Caden, Nicole, Sarah, Chelsea, Catherine, Shannon, Rosalie, Becky, Jack, Laura, Jackie, Danielle, Ina, Velvet, Alex, Ashley, Sydney, Carrie, Janie, Janie, <laughs> Happy, Kayla, Tracy, Tammy, Justin, Rayanne, Nicole, Rachel, Jordan, Lisa, Rochelle, Allison, Colin, Erica, Luxia, Carrie, Rachel, Beth, Angela, Lisa, Jessica, Judah, Kate, Sarah, Jordan, Wendy, Carrie, Ryan, Amber, Macy, Emma, Alexa, Aaron from Canada, Crystal, Kirby, Anna, Serenity, Michelle, Jessica, Jay, Sierra, Mary, Carolyn, Christy, Brittany, Caleb, Andrea, Aaron, Michelle, Jao, Ashley, Danielle, Elena, Molly, Molly, Erica, Willow, Julia, MCF, Laura, Dobby, Kia, Aaron, Tiana, Ashton, Linda, um, Elise, Marisol, Rachel, Cecilia, Johnny, Renata. 
I'm amazed. Oh my god, that hurts You're so much. You're getting so good at that. Although I felt like you were about to throw up the whole time. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel well. You pronounce Renata very well. I don't know how I did that. You know, I, I, I've heard of that name before. You must have a little German in you. Oh. It's almost like she was your professor at one time. I also forgot to comment about Linda being my mom. Hi, Linda, mom. I mean. You also forgot to comment about Allison being your girlfriend. Were you Were you in there? Whoops. I mean, were, Who? I mean, was Allison in there? Al Pal was, was in there. Was my girlfriend in there? Al yeah. Pal, my best friend. Your best friend. Slash I mean, college slash roommate. Former roommate. Slash, slash your girlfriend. Your, my girlfriend. Slash, slash Gio's favorite. Gio's not favorite. Second favorite. Second favorite after me. No, third favorite after his <laughs> uncle. <laughs> Gio, are you going to read some names for us? Are you a good boy? Oh, I am here. For are the, you a good boy? For the $5 rewards. We'll see if I get through it. Then is I'm this, a good boy. Is this Team Gio? Uh, I better be higher than $5. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Team $5. Tiffany, Jody, Brianna, Josh, Parker, Christy, Shannon, Emily, Chrissy, Maddie, Zelly, Juliana, or Julianne. Pippa, Manda, Tanya, Stevie, Rachel, Catherine, Paula, Alyssa, Ginger, Laura, Sarah, Courtney, Stacy, Chelsea, Dr. Pizza, Alex, Brianny, April, Gianna Lee, Jordan, Renee, Crystal, Emily, Kimberly, Amber, Stephen, Heather, Andrea, Tiffany, Maria, Ziggy, Callie, Dale, Cheryl, Faith, Becky, Kayla, Danette, Hannah, Kristen, Nicole, Lindsay, Abigail, Maggie, Anika, Lizzie, Allison, Andrea, Air Bear, Erica, Janelle, or Jelena, Christine, Vinicius, Rye, uh, Raya, Megan, Shauna, Emily, Liz, Jess, Amber, Rose, Christine, Danielle, Allison, Allison, Anthony, Andrea, Allison, Quincy, Kayla, Lindsay, Chrisador, Loreline, Alphonse, Sammy, Alice, Megan, Shelby, Jamie, Caitlin, Sarah, Linny, Jessica, Liz, Dee Dee, Carolyn, Michelle, Dakota, Bianca, Meg, Winter, Maria, Mariah, Eric, Julia, Jessica, Rachel, Crystal, Quebec, Lori, Andrizzle, Lizzie, Benita, Sarah, Justine, Stephanie, Camille, Courtney, Megan, Alyssa, Anj, Anjan, Rick, Bella, Emma, Jordan, Kira, Goldie, Danielle, Kate, Rebecca, Julie, Emily, Emily. So Emily Shackleton, Emily Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, L- Emily's. Lucky gals. Shannon, Brett, Sarah, Jocelyn, Becca, Paul, uh, Xavier, Lori, Judith, Shamblefest, Laura, Megan, Kayleen, <sighs> Ashley, Amber, Amanda, Sumit, Bella, Alyssa, Alyssa, <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa Smith, Justine, Vanessa, Melissa, Sydney, Alex, Morgan, Allie, Allie, okay, Allie, A L I, Allie, A L L I E, Emma, Joss, Camille, Sarah, Mariah, Stephanie, Danny, Brittany, Danielle, Hillbilly Horror Stories, Eric, Chelsea, Coral, Wynema, Rebecca, Jennifer, oh, and Uncle Alex Schieffer. What a handsome man he is. Thank you, handsome boy. Thank you, you such a good boy. Anytime. Good baby Gio can do no wrong. Oh, wow. How do you know which one's team wine? Is this it? Because it says Christine? I don't know how this works at all. <sighs> I'm fairly you're the, sure. You're the one that's supposed to be organized in this group, right? <clears throat> Isn't that how this dynamic works? You're the organized one and I come without notes and everything? Yep, that's pretty much how it goes. Yeah, so you tell me. All right. I think I've got the right list here. So... Team Wine, hello, my people. Hope you're drunk by now, unless you're driving, in which case, hope you're not drunk at all. Shannon. (laughs) (laughs) 
Luke, gonna use Shannon. Everybody drive safe. Okay, Team Wine, here we are. Ruthie Poo, Tempest, Jason, Erica, oh, Erica KS, Lindsay, Kim, DB, Haley, Rissa, Kelly, Lindsay, Becca, Sophia, Shalia, Maureen, Crystal, Zelly, Aja, Joe, Ned, Bethany, Maggie, Eliza, Poe, 2387, Ainsley, Jenna, Logan, Jenna, Riley, Loreni, Ashley, It Takes Three, Brielle, Kelly, Darcy, Carol, Nora, Heidi, Lindsay, Rachel or Rachel, not sure which one, Sarah, Shauna, Wendy, Leanne, Jessica, Valerie, Maria, Amy, Ginny, Catherine, Lydia, Chelsea, Rebecca, Jacqueline, Cassandra, Amy, Emily, Samantha, Crystal, Rachel, Erin, Alasia, Sarah, Melanie, Ellie, Leah, Catherine, Jeffrey, Kristen, Jessica, Alyssa, Becca, uh, Madeline or Madeline, Val, Blanca, Amanda, Brenna, Nora, Alyssa, Elizabeth, Cindy, Veronica, Tessa, Selena, Melissa, that's KC, Annette, Laurelia, 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 Samantha, Lauren, Anna, Venny, Lessie, Katie, Gus, Xander, Tess, Roly, Lisa, Chelsea, Rachel, Osg, Bird. Are those Osgebird? two separate names? Oh, it's one word. O Z G E. Cool. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I thought cool. you might have a guess. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Jessica, Mimi, Nicole, Amy, Paige, Serena, Haley, Taylor, Aubrey, Christiana, Robin, Mike, Lori, Ashley, Africa, Kathleen, Julia Marie, Nick, Smackery, Shelby, my so called whatever, Heather, Jill, Andy, C, Andy, do, Brooke, Deviant Women, all right. Adrienne, Lexus, Athens Girl, Zoe, Crystal is amazing. You sure are, Crystal. That's it for Team Wine. Thanks, wow, guys. Wow, that's all? Excuse me? These are my people. I'm just kidding. I love every one of you. Is this Team Milkshake, then? Sure is. Oh, you know why? Because it starts with my main man, Bernhard. 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 Yep, he's uh, all about those slag pots and uh, steel That's what we know about him. Yep, that's all I know about him. Followed by my other people. Elizabeth. Jail. (laughs) Is it jail? Jail. Hi. I think you're right. I don't know. I said it, then it didn't sound right, because a jail is a jail. Oh, shit. Let's just continue. Allie, Emily, Whitney, Alexandra, Kaylee, Anna, Marie... Mary, Chloe, Rebecca, Elena, Bashra, Angie, Kaylee, Kendall, Sam, Elizabeth, Toranolulu, Casey. That was pretty good. I'm sorry. I just nailed Casey? that. The one before Casey. Toranolulu. How do you know you nailed it? Because I know. I just know. <laughs> Toranolulu? Yeah. Toronolulu? How else would you say that? Are you listening? Tell us if Are we got listening? it right. Hello? Anybody? Oh my God. Hello? There's nobody there. And then you say, oh my God, hello? Fresh. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> Casey, Jennifer, we're trying here. <laughs> Jennifer, <laughs> Melissa, Madison, Ashley, Mandolin, Emma, Lauren, Megan, Caitlin, the Flatwoods Monster, you will, oh shit, you will Leo, Maggie, Julia, Kimberly, Debbie, Elise, Madison, Molly, Rachel, Janet, Matt, Abby, Sam, Natasha, Maria, Dogwood, Nightingale, Katie, Megan, Katie, Antoni, Antonina, Sarah, Rachel, Sydney, Allison, Rachel, Sarah, Brianna, Mr. Nowak, Emily, Hallie, Regina, Justine, Kelly, Danny, Sierra, Bronwyn, Brittany, Rui, Michelle, Michael, Alex, <laughs> it's a little different, Amanda, Kesha, Jessica, Bree, uh, Jean-Marie, Bang, Lael, I L oh, shoot I, Carolyn oh Lael is that an it could be a lowercase L or it could be an uppercase I but the last name is lowercase so I'm gonna say Lael okay Mister or Miss Gasser let's do that oh shoot I accidentally clicked on it oh crap oh here we go Carolyn 
Laura, Bobby, at Wolfton, Sam, Carly, Shayla, Bonnie, Sam, Bianca, at Fionac 1990, Lisa, Jessica, Andrea, Sue, Andy, Kirk, Patricia, Crime Crazy, Emily, Jerry, oh, is it Gary or Jerry? Gary, or is it like Derek, Zachary? And that's all my milkshake people. Thank you very much. Woo! Thanks, Team Milkshake. And the true heroes who donate without any reward. Amanda. Amanda. Okay, we're going to start over. Amanda Wartick. Amanda Trivet. Mana. Lauren. Hinda. Mazzy. Jesse Lee. Macy. Lauren. Shannon. Carolyn, Karen. Brett. JB. Kate. Emily. Julie. Maddie. Nicole. Jessica. And that is all of the Patreon names. So we'd like to say, as we always do, thank you so much. No matter how much you donate, it really does make a difference. Um, in Please case, donate more. If you can, if you can't, we appreciate anything and everything and every single one of you. Even if you don't donate, thank you so much for that listening. Is true. Yes. Um, but double thank you if you donate. Yes. And I'm going to tell you where you can find us. Tell us. You can find us on Facebook. Facebook. Do any of you remember that? At, and that's why we drink podcast, I assume. Instagram is ATWWD podcast, right? Sure. And then uh, Twitter, probably that same thing. ATWWD podcast. Most likely. Uh, our email is... You can email us listener stories with listener stories in the subject, I think. Is that a thing? You Whatever want? you want in the subject. Uh, at uh, atwwd podcast at gmail.com. Absolutely not. It's Shh. and that's why we drink at gmail.com. That's what I meant to say. Um, our website is and that's why we drink at, g- at dot com. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we drink dot com. I have no idea. And yeah. that's why we. Nope. It's and that's why we drink dot com. I'm pretty sure. And then you can find our shop Wait, at no, and that's why and we drink. That's why we drink. Com. I know that one. All right, we got um, one there. We're using the internet to yeah, find out what our website is. Yeah, and that's why we drink. Is. Com mm-hmm. is the website. Isn't yep. that what I said? No. Oh, that's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, it is what he said. Geo yeah. was wrong. You said I was wrong. I said that though. All right, all right, you said it. Uh, oh look, a profile all about me. And about me. Yep. Um, what else is there? Oh, you can listen to us wherever you're listening to us right now. How about that? Yep. Just keep on doing what you're doing. You're doing it right. Uh, I also want to say that if you happen to be in Los Angeles on May 20th, we will be having a live show. We'll both be sweating a lot. So try not to sit in the front row. Yeah. Uh, I'm into that. Tickets to be determined keep an eye on all of our social media for tickets whenever they do show up yeah and crime con is still coming up in a month about from now yeah um that's that's may 2nd or so second something like that and you can uh get a get 10 percent off your tickets i believe if you use the code atwwd when you order and i think you should because uh, everyone will be there, including Christine's brother, who's really cool. Although, if you want to meet Alpal, she will not be coming, unfortunately, because she has a job that she can't just leave. Excuse me. You, I mean, excuse. You think that Christine's brother has a job that he could just? He's just he he makes sacrifices. Hmm. Mm-hmm. He makes sacrifices. Big ones. Big ones. The biggest. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much. By the way, last thing I want to say is happy April Fool's Day. Oh, yeah. And that's why we drink. And that's why we drink.